Uh, thank you for being here. We're very humbled to be here. It's our first time in, uh, in this region. Um, just a little bit about uh, us. We started the company, four of us, about uh, three years ago uh, by producing uh, smartphones and tablets. We only sell in Middle East and Africa. Um, uh, we don't sell in China, uh, but we're very proud to be Chinese. So we are close to about, uh, we'll hit about 100 million US dollar this year, and uh, we reached a, a pretty good milestone that we will hit about uh, 180,000 units uh, a month uh, selling through. So, but a little bit before that, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about our philosophy moving forward and how we see this industry. So, you know, as we always say, you know, when we start mo doing smartphones, uh, we always think back and the journey that we've been. You know, at my age, I still remember this phone that was launched in 2003. I think Nokia was a, is, you know, it's a pretty cool brand. This was one of the, you know, biggest selling phones out there, 250 million units sold. Still being used today and still being sold today. So a little bit down memory lane. And this phone, I thought it was pretty cool having it as well. You know, the Moto Razr was number one. And, you know, to this date, about 130 million units sold. Nice storage. I mean, you could send email, but really, really slowly. And at that time, it was $600. I still remember having one of those as well. Uh, and I, to, to, to us, to, you know, to the four of us who, who owns this company, this is really the smartphone that started it all. You know, when, uh, when the T-Mobile G1, which is the HTC, launched in 2008, and that was, uh, you know, stylistically not so cool, you know, but I think with, with uh, and, and a little bit heavy, uh, but this was the start of, you know, all the Android phones to come. So where we see the trends of mobile phones are coming is, you know, we feel that Android will continue to grow. Uh, not only because of the Middle East and Africa region, but from all the demands that we see, you know, we see that Apple is hanging in there. I mean, with the good products coming out, um, you know, in our opinion, they should have came out with the larger screen probably. I was expecting it October last year. But good enough, you know, it's here. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, from my Microsoft friends and, you know, it is growing, but it is not the dominance there it is. So we do see the, the little green man continue to gain share in the smartphone area. But it's also about the, 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 the masses. This is where we feel how our company can grow, um, to me, exponentially uh, with, the, with the monthly volumes. Because there is the rise of the value smartphones. I'll give you an example. There are a lot of people moving from feature phones into the, to the, to the entry level 3Gs. Now, yes, they are made in China, like Mr. Ben, ben Tan has said, but there's not a cheap China brand. All, almost all of the products out there is made in China. You don't need to be a Caucasian, or you, didn't, you don't need to be an Indian or Chinese to be a good designer. So a lot of the cool products does come from different regions. And we do see there is the, the value smartphone. I'll give you another example. In Hajj, in Saudi, in Mecca. So we do produce and provide through Mobali, through STC, Saudi Telecom, smartphones with dual SIM that the Hajj attendees can use during that time. So these are some of the things that we're seeing. We're seeing fatigue up front. We're seeing the value smartphones moving up. And we're also seeing a bunch of guys who doesn't need to have a smart to have a smart uh, Samsung or Apple to be cool. You know, they could be the geeks or whatever, but they have the nice specs and then to fit at a very, very nice price range. I'll give you an example. We have a product that is OctaCore, uh, that is, uh, you know, dual SIM, nice five inch, and you know, we can sell for $110. So these are some of the things that I want us to really think about the trends coming as well. So differentiate as well. You know, we do see these are becoming really real. A case and example is smart retail. Uh, coming up in Dubai, there's the technology week in Dubai, where we work with AT Salat, which is the largest uh, telecom uh, operator there. So they have an electric point of sale where you put the credit card in, and they will use our smartwatch, which has a SIM card, through Bluetooth, and we will connect through and uh, conduct the transaction. So they call it smart retail. Now, not a very foreign concept, but something that if we can make it really, really uh, uh, generally used. So it would be pretty cool. And hopefully, uh, we can be able to see that during next week. Yeah. So this is another third trend that we see is hardware for free. Uh, a lot of us know about Xiaomi. Xiaomi has overtaken Lenovo and Samsung and Apple as the number one smartphone king in China. 
Now, this is an amazing, amazing achievement for you guys don't realize. Now, China market is huge, and they have overtaken, they've taken four to five points away from Samsung to be the number one smartphone king. And they, as a concept, they will give out the phone for free because they feel, and we feel as well, the real money and the real profit comes from accessories, come from applications, and come from gaming and all those things that we see from the software. Now, it's not there right now, but it will be. It will be, it will come, and we are investing, for example, our phones, we are investing our own browser, our own UI, our own app store. All of these things have to be there, the stickiness, the community. In the end, the hardware, very, very clearly for us, will be free. So a little bit about TechSync. You know, TechSync is our mother company. You know, the four of us, uh, you know, own the company and we run the company. We're based in Dubai, uh, keeping also residents in China. Um, you know, we, uh, again, like, like, like we said, we have our hardware, just like everybody else. We have our, our smartphones at different price ranges. We have our smartwatches, kids watch. Uh, tablets, but more importantly is on your right hand side, the services, the ecosystem, the account system, what we do. We spend a tremendous amount of money and time on that side of the business. Because the hardware, to be very honest, is your black box versus my black box, uh, similar to be produced in 10 or 15 great factories in China who is shared by all the different manufacturers. Texting, we carry two brands. Uh, we bring to you Inju where we sell about 150 to 180,000 units a month of smartphone and tablets through an e-tailer called souk.com and an e-tailer called jumia.com in Nigeria. Now this is Middle East. We never been here before. Uh, we love it here, it's a little bit hot for me. Uh, you know, my gout came back because I think I ate my heart out two days ago. Um, but this is a beautiful place and we wanna, we wanna look for partners. We wanna look for partners here and, 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 and retailers and e-tailers to come work with us. We also carry another brand, X-Touch, uh, which is a, a recognizable, nice B brand uh, in the Middle East and Africa. So this is our ecosystem. Um, you know, we have started by one small shop three years ago. Uh, all the way to what we are running uh, close to about 100 million US dollars, uh, which we're very, very proud of as a company. So our focus now, we are doing uh, our first round of official fundraising. So we are targeting, uh, this is our customer, dual SIM card users, feature phone, converts, kids, students. Uh, this is a region where we wanna expand to. Very, very excited about the region. Um, you know, we heard a lot of things about Vietnam, Myanmar, Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, and all these uh, areas. So we look to each one of you uh, to help work with us. We have case studies, examples, that things does work. Units does get pushed, beautiful packaging. Um, you know, we even pay attention to the little ties, the length of the USB. So to prove the point that being a Chinese brand doesn't have to be cheap. It can be very good value for money and good. So uh, these are some of our customers that we work with, the different operators as well. So in the end, you know, about, this is all about the masses. This is all about the value smartphones. This is all about good high tech products at good prices that each one of you can uh, take advantage of. So thank you for your time. Come see us. We're at the hot area, and it's called the chill lounge, but I, I believe that's the hottest area up there, <laughs> okay? So I'm still finding the chill out there. So I brought an extra shirt, but uh, that's a bit too much information. So thank you for your time. <laughs>